Hey everyone, this is GM Rex here, and I'm going to be reviewing the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan figure. I've had this for maybe a little over a year. Um, I added the flag just for, you know, a patriotic effect. Um, you know, I, got, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite figures ever. Um, in terms of Hulk Hogan, um, I know he's going through some, he's going through a legal battle right now with uh, Gawker, who exposed his sex tape and such, but, and the, that tape also got him in some trouble with WWE, where they pretty much blacklisted him, for the time being, uh, hopefully they can all, hopefully they can all work through their differences and such. Um, but, let's cut the brass tacks here, and let's get to the figure. Um, let's see, he's got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title, which is a classic title. Um, I think that's called the Reggie Parks title, I think. Um, don't 100% quote me on that, but that could be what it is. It's got the Tearaway Hulkamania shirt. He's got a cross. Um, because, you know, he, say, he says his prayers, takes his vitamins, brother. Uh, he's got a torn-up t-shirt that he wears as a headband. Um, he's got two-toned knee pads, um, like he always wore. Like, when I first saw the figure, I thought it was just plain red knee pads, but I didn't realize it was two tones of red. Like, there was more of a burgundy color on the front. Um, you know, and, and that's a detail I don't think a Hulk Hogan figure's ever really had. So that's a major plus. Uh, the boots are incredibly detailed for Hulk Hogan. You know, like, it's not like they just threw all yellow boots, you know. They put the white on the bottom and the white laces. And, you know, they really, they really, you know, paid attention to detail with this. Um, I really like the, the title it comes with. Um makes me definitely feel nostalgia. The flag, you know. Like I said, I had this flag. I got it, I think, last year at a parade. No, two years ago at a parade. Um, on the 4th of July. So I just added it with it because it, it looks cool. You know, it, it, it embodies Hulk Hogan. Um, you know, it's got the tears on the back of the shirt. Um, the shirt comes off. Basically, it's like a vest. Um, you know, he's got a torso that basically was custom, basically is a specialized torso just for Hulk Hogan. Um, you know, this definitely takes me back to when I was a kid. This comes right off. Um, the cross comes off, but... Let's get the flag out of his hand for a second. Let's try to try my best to show what it looks like without all the accessories, but doing it with one hand is not an easy task. Um, you know, like I said, this is probably one of my favorite figures. Um, just for the nostalgia effect, you know. Uh, I never really appreciated, like, legend figures until a few years ago. Um, you know, like, I, I would get some things, but I, I wouldn't go crazy overboard with whatever legends there are. But nowadays, I'm kind of like that. Um, so long as it's people I don't have yet that I want, like... Um, I got the cross off. Um, see if I can get the shirt off. So, it's, like I said, I'm gonna try to do all of this one-handed. <laughs> it is not easy. Uh, there is some legend figures, uh, the Hall of Fame series at Target. I haven't seen the new series yet. It's got Jimmy Hart, Ted DiBiase, and Macho King. I do want the Ted DiBiase. Maybe the Macho King and 
I'll probably get Jimmy Hart because I also want the Heenan family four pack with Mr. Perfect, Big John Stud, Andre the Giant, Bobby Heenan. But uh, yeah. Back to Hogan here. Uh, here he is without all of his accessories. You know, the torso, I think it was made just for Hogan. Um, you know, this is, you know, it's definitely a defining moment, Hulk Hogan, to me. Um, another defining moment of Hulk Hogan's career was when. He was already certified mega star, and he still is a certified mega star. But an another defining moment for me that I really loved was the NWO. Um, that's from the Scott Hall figure. Um, maybe get some sunglasses on it, and I really wish they'd make a Hollywood Hogan. I really wish they would, um, but. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, but there, there he is in full ring gear. You know, um, ready to take on Andre the Giant. Body slam him right through the ring. Um, supposedly, he tore both his triceps when he body slammed Andre the Giant. And Andre the Giant had like fifteen glasses of wine that night. Just some little interesting facts. Um, you know, no matter what happens, Hulk Hogan will always be. He was my childhood hero. I mean, I had a bathrobe of him. Uh, I had pencil toppers, um, tidy whitey underwear. <laughs> you know, Hulk Hogan was always a huge part of my childhood. Um, now, as for the review. I, I don't even think I need to say it, but in case you guys want me to say it, I'm going to say it. Green light. Uh, this figure is very hard to come by nowadays. Uh, I think Amazon, you might be able to still get it. Um, ringside Collectibles, you could probably get it there. Um, I think that's where I got this. I think I ordered it from Ringside Collectibles. It's either that or it was Amazon, but I'm pretty sure it was Ringside. Yeah, I um, it was on back order, and I ordered it for when they got more in uh, last year. So I, you know, because I had seen it in stores, but then when I went and I didn't have enough money, so when I went there to go, when I went back to the stores to get it. Uh, it was gone. So I figured, alright, well, I gotta order it off ringside. Then, like, a month later, they were in stores everywhere, and you couldn't... You, you'd go every... pretty much every store you imaginable, and you'd find it. With the exception of regular Walmart. Um, so, yeah. Green light. Look for this figure. Um, you know, this... It was a simpler time of Hulkamania. You know, it ran wild like nobody's business. Um, green light all the way. You know, I, I, I feel like everyone in the world has pretty much forgiven Hulk Hogan for what happened. With the exception of WWE. Who needs to forgive because... He's done so much for the company, for everyone around the world, you know. I mean, John Cena is nothing compared to Hulk Hogan. And I will say that until the day I die, that Hulk Hogan will always be better than John Cena, no matter what. Um, you know, John Cena, I don't think, would ever make... you know, would ever have the popularity of Hulk Hogan, because even when Hulk Hogan was being jammed down people's throats, people didn't care because he sold tickets. John Cena, it's a different story. You know, John Cena doesn't have that 
mm. that Hulk Hogan has. He still has it to this day. Um, you know, Hulk Hogan is the guy that basically made WWE what it is today. Uh, John Cena is trying to fill those shoes, but let's face it. It'll never happen. John Cena's done a lot, don't get me wrong. He does a lot for Make-A-Wish and everything, and that's great, but he just... I don't think he'll ever be the megastar that Hulk Hogan is. Um, so yes, green light. Find this figure. Um, it was like 30 bucks, but it's well worth the 30 bucks. If you can still find it for 30 bucks, grab it. Um, cause right now it's probably a lot more than that. Um, I think, like, like I said, Ringside might still have it. I'm not 100% sure. But green light, buy this figure now. Um, like, pause this video to go order that figure if you're a Hulk Hogan fan. If you're a wrestling fan, you know, get this figure ASAP. Um, you know, it, it's so detailed, um... It, it captures those moments of my childhood, like, perfectly. Uh, Mattel couldn't have done a better job. I mean, they couldn't have nailed it this accurately any better. Like, seriously, just get this figure. Um, green light, green light, green light, green light. Uh, I'd almost say red and yellow light, just because of the Hulkamania colors, but that doesn't make sense. Red, white, and blue light. <laughs> you know, it's green light, though. Get this figure, um, add it to your collection. If you already have it, you're already one step ahead. So, yes. If you don't have it, though, and you like to collect WWE figures, get this Hogan. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, you know, so like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook fan page, and I will see you all later.